Hey y'all, it's Trinity back with a quick general read. Messages are for the collective. Keep in mind these readings are general, they're timeless. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, so y'all, I don't do shout outs, but I'm gonna tell you guys about my mom really quick. Um, she's been running a cold room with a bunch of girls for a long time, and um, right now she's getting majority of them to meet me in certain spots so they could try to play tricks on my mind because they want to claim me as mental. She's a karmic, mature woman in reverse. Um, she's having people meet up where I'm at and she's going to deny it, but you guys already know the people who know my mom, she's not right up top and she wants me to be not right up top. So um, she's doing little things where as though I could flip out and snap, like I don't go around there at all. Um, the little places that I do go in this small town, she's popping up there because she wants to trigger me. But now, because she knows I'm so triggered, she's getting friends to come and meet with me that I don't even talk to because she know they deal with mental health issues and they know I'm an empath. So they want their mental illnesses to jump on me so we can swap out destinies. And I'm calling it out right here, right now. I rebuke it and I return everything that you guys send back. You know, I'm done with all of you guys. I already told you guys I wash my hands on all of you guys. I don't want nothing to do with you guys. I don't owe you guys anything. You don't know you don't owe me anything. This is a one woman show over here. I don't want anything to do with you guys. When I talk to you guys or when I see you guys, you guys know that you try to make me sick. That's just what it is. And I have a marriage coming up pretty soon. I did the inner work. So nothing that you guys do is going to get past me, no, no matter who's involved. All right. Messages here for the collective. I just wanted to let that be known. Okay. Ain't no soul swapping over here. That experiment is over. Dead. Hoffin. And this is what I called my mom about. I had told her I, I had a dream um, in my father's family room. I had a dream of um, them over there. And somebody was putting poison in his cup. And I told her this two to three days ago. So she gets, and let me tell you how the magic works. She gets um, one of my friends to meet me at the park. I haven't talked to this girl in possibly seven years. Um, she gets her to meet me at the park. And she tells me that she's studying phlebotomy. My daughter starts to do this with her stomach. This is like um, visualization. Like this is the work that they do. My daughter starts holding her stomach. Um, and then when I wake up this morning, I see the Lysol on the side of my bed. So that's poison. It'll cause belly aches and um, something to do when, if they were to put Lysol or something in somebody's cup or drink it would it wouldn't be um able to be found so that's the dream that i had somebody was putting poison in my dad's cup so now my mom is trying to play reverse psychology by calling my daughter telling her to put it on the side of my bed so i could go to the hospital and get blood drawn and um she wants to say that i'm crazy but it's crazy that these cards pulled out like this and what's on the side of it that's because she don't want to work see and she noticed she about to have a court case Everybody in the community is going to speak on her. She's not privileged, and this is what she's been doing. She's, she does stuff like this to put people in a coffin to make money, all right? And yeah, look, unexpected income, and she's trying to play this. She, she, she's done this on her loved ones, too. Everybody knows about it, and she, she thinks this, this is going to happen to me. She's trying to get people to do it, or um, she's, uh, she's planning on doing it. That, I don't know. I've I seen my dad drinking something here. This is how they, they're trying to clean, make themselves pathways to wealthy mans. And I don't know anything besides what I'm speaking on about that dream. But that's the spell work that they plan on me right now. This is to come out of poverty. She's not working right now. And they want to get me out of work um, by saying that I have a mental health issue by playing these games. And none of them are gifted. None of them have dreams. They don't have anything. What they're doing right now is this called manipulation. And you know what? And I told them today, I'm not going to be calling back and telling them anything. What happens is what happens. I, I work for God and I, do, and I do God's work. And when God wants me to deliver a message, that's what I do. What I see in the spiritual realm isn't meant to scare anybody or anything like that. 
but some things that i've seen have been spot on and dead and accurate all right so somebody here is trying to create a pathway for themselves to come out of poverty all right it's a community full of people here who are in poverty this is their karma and they, they already know it this is their karma because of what they've been doing do unto others how you want done to yourself we got a uh, expectation here so yeah look Message of concern. They're going to get a concern before any of it happens. It's a mature woman, a karmic, who's been setting things up like this to get things done in the community. 37, 39, or 35 years of age. They they do this all the time. And look, I'm not in y'all coven. So you can't sacrifice me. You can't do anything to me. All right? You're going to wind up in court fucking with somebody like me. All right? Message of concern. I'm high honor. All right? They, I'm just speaking this out just for future purposes. Everybody know why I ain't crazy. And my new beginning will not be the four swords. I will not be sick. Already had a, a cycle of poverty and all of that because of the karmic that you guys sent me. All right. Messages here for the collective, please. That's what they do, though. They, they come and attack me in groups. Ace of swords in reverse. So there's been a lie here, too, in this coven. The Three of Cups, okay? The Three of Wands and the Four of Swords, all right? Somebody's been lying about foresight. It's somebody in the coven that's lying about, like, gifts, psychic gifts. Somebody's lying. They're saying that they have foresight. This is somebody prophesizing on people's lives. This is what I see or something like that. Look, Nine of Cups in reverse. I get that this is like a situation where it's somebody here in this group of three that says they try to predict what's going to happen in the future. This ain't nobody who's spiritually inclined. This is somebody here who deals with mental health issues with the four of swords. Um, this would be a type of person who will speak something out their mouth and then they'll try to make it happen. That's the only thing that's um, <clears throat> that's about this person. It's somebody who do witchcraft. They say it, they wait for the results, and then they wait for something to happen. Judgment in reverse um, with the King of Wands and the Five of Cups. I get here. It's somebody here that's grieving because deep down inside, somebody here knows about the mental health issues that somebody has. And they, they've they never done anything about it. Somebody could have possibly three victims or something like that. And somebody's working on two more. Look at the two behind here. And I feel like somebody here is grieving because they feel like they could have protected somebody by putting them in some sort of psych ward or something like that. But now they know that somebody is going to be dealing with the police, the chariot in the near future. King of Cups in reverse. All right. Six of Cups in reverse. It's like a cancer here. It could be a cancer masculine. It could be a Scorpio here. It's nothing but bad memories. Ten of Wands with the Seven of Swords and the Moon. Somebody's like really stressed out here thinking about... Um, all the things that they know of this person and they know that this person's done and they lied for this person. Um, and I feel like at this time here, somebody's like assessing the situation and they wish they could have done something different for this person. See, look, justice. Because now something has to be equal and something has to be balanced because something wasn't done prior to this here. And... Um, See, that's why people like me keep my mouth shut or I'm, I'm learning how to because uh, somebody who's like perfectly sane like myself will be called mental for calling stuff out or something like that. But it's somebody here who knows of what this person is doing. And this is why somebody's missing opportunities. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse because they already know. See, a person like me who know that somebody needs help and I would try to get them help. I don't need help. I just need for people to stop trying to victimize me. I don't need help. We all could use some financial help. That's the help I need. And I work for my money. And that's why I've been asking. Um, I've been looking for like ways to make extra money. But for me to put my hands or try to sell whatever, like hurt another human to make money, everybody know that's not my M.O., I've been working since I was a young girl and doing everything inside the lines. I don't go outside the box, but justice has to be served here for something that was done unfair. And somebody's like grieving because they know all about it. And it's like somebody at this time here, they're feeling sad that uh, they didn't help this person. Somebody's like, 
And I also heard, you know, somebody's getting dreams that somebody's about to get picked up from the police. Somebody having dreams about this and they, somebody's like really uh, grieving at this time. I also feel like here, this is a situation where somebody's dealing with um, self-doubt or something like that. I feel like here for some of you guys, somebody feels like... If they was to say something here about whatever this is, um, somebody wouldn't believe this person or, yeah, look, the four of pentacles, this is why they hold back or queen of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody knows why you're not communicating with them or something like that. Because they feel like, they, they know here with the queen of swords in reverse, Somebody's like ready to chop somebody's like head off. This is what they words though. Because somebody's like trying to play God or some yeah, it's like somebody trying to play God or savior for somebody who they shouldn't be. All right. temperance with the three of cups ten of cups at the bottom deck Some, somebody could be somebody's family or something like that but um, somebody's trying to control time like when something gets balanced or when something comes out but as they're waiting somebody here is like they're keep on doing things here so somebody's like they're um they like well, what, what am I gonna do here or you know somebody just feels bad here because you know it's like somebody here knows somebody telling the truth or they know how they could get justice but it's more so like they they feel bad for somebody here um give me one for the aces you know what let me get some of these This is why somebody's holding back, not making up with you or making amends with you or something like that. Because uh, they still want to hold on to something here. And this could be anybody, y'all, with the Three of Cups. Family, friends, lovers, don't matter. A Sagittarius or a Libra could be significant here. We got refrain from something you're doing excessively. Look, and then we got Statue of Limitations. Unforeseen forces working behind the scenes, and we have shunned and outcasted. Um, somebody done something here, and they feel like they've gotten away with it because um, something to do with statue of limitations. It's like somebody did something here, but it would be like, okay, well, this person basically they if somebody did something three years ago, they'd be like, okay, well, we're gonna clear now. Um, nothing could be done about this. Somebody's trying to control fate and, and like justice for somebody else. We got initial F and somebody knows what somebody's doing here. Yeah, we got 10 years of bad luck, bad karma. Some of y'all, this is a cancer. All right. Somebody got 10 years of karma. It's because somebody knows what somebody is doing here and where they belong. But somebody feels bad for somebody here. They could have known what somebody dealt with in their life or something like that. We got Gemini, Cancer, and Gemini. Somebody knows what somebody's dealt with in their life or um, or somebody feels bad because they know what this person is doing. Somebody's an antagonist. Somebody starts a lot of stuff, and then it's like somebody here trying to mediate something. But mediation ain't working. We got New Jersey. It's more so like this person needs help. Get them the help that they need. And it's and it, how was see look skill hacker technician somebody like tracking somebody they're stalking somebody and they're setting up scenarios to make something work like in a favor but it would be more so like trying to help the um the aggressor not the victim are you attached to anything that doesn't serve a purpose he or she is hiding he or she is in hiding paying others to commit crimes. 
See, somebody's paying somebody to do stuff here. You could you could be a psychic investigator. Somebody's upset. Somebody's thorough. Somebody know what they talking about. I'm hearing somebody like, well, how this person knows me or how they know that they're doing this or they're doing that. Capricorn. Somebody knows what somebody's doing here. And um, it's like somebody needs to speak up about this here. All right. Your younger sibling could be involved. Some of y'all, you got a new position on the way. Somebody heard about this. This is somebody trying to stop it. We got initial M. Somebody's upset. They like it in the midst of somebody. In the midst of me doing all of this, Aries. Um, they like it in the midst of me doing all this. They concerned. How this person about to get a financial breakthrough when I've been doing all of this or something like that? But they know like what this person is doing. Give me, give me one of the Ace of Swords in reverse. What's the lie? Hierophant in reverse. The star in reverse. So somebody's like, it's like in secret, somebody knows that something can't be healed because they know what they've been doing or what they've done. But it's like somebody don't want to miss the opportunity or something. The star in reverse speaks about somebody who's like not able to heal. Um, somebody who has no faith, no hope or anything like that. But it's like they still want to hold on or something like that. Um, <clears throat> Let me look at my star card. Something to throw somebody, um, throw somebody off they aim, their their a game. And I'm hearing that this person does this time and time again. Every time when something comes up for somebody, this person comes around. Cause for some of y'all, somebody does have gifts or something like that. They don't have foresight though. Yeah, somebody's discouraged here. They're feeling hopeless and uninspired. So what they do is they find a way to start trouble with other people. It's like, I'm bored. Let me go do this to this person. I know I ain't got nothing going on in my life or I ain't working towards nothing, but I don't want this person to work on anything either because I don't want them to get past my level or something. I mean, I don't want them to get any further. I already feel like I'm not in reach with this person. This person is also a conformist here. Um... And this person lies to fit in. Something to do with like social pressure. Like somebody feels as though they got to be a certain way for this group, a certain way for this group, a certain way for that group. So somebody never shows their authentic selves or something like that. It's like, I'm who you need me to be when you need me to be it. And somebody else is not like that. See, look, somebody's very abundant here. We got the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody's justice. You could be creating your own community or they're going to be moving, doing this here, building something. Something could be built from ground up. Somebody's moving. It, it's like the most high is tired of this. It's like, you know, instead of starting trouble or trying to cause problems for this person, how come you didn't see if you can contribute to what this person is doing? It's more so like I can't do what this person is doing or I'm uninterested in what this person is doing. So these people over here want me to do this. So I'm going to do this, even though, you know, and the most high is illuminating this person. Look, son, the light is on this person. All right. Um. This is like the plans that somebody thinks about when they're in solitude, but they ain't got no peace of mind. Four swords in reverse. They don't have any peace of mind for what they do. I'm also hearing um, somebody has, um, what's that word? Somebody has like a, a, a sleep disorder or something. Somebody really doesn't sleep. And it's because they're always thinking about wicked stuff. Tower, like how they could cause issues for people. A Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Libra, or a Sagittarius. And still wind up in the Two of Swords. Somebody is like confused the why this reverse psychology isn't working. Because for some of y'all, you've been reaching out to somebody, asking somebody something, but it's a specific person that wants you to reach out to them. They like, this person reached out to you. Look, somebody confused about this spell work. Or they like, you know, I'm hearing for some of y'all, somebody got somebody's line hacked or tapped or something. So they hear the conversations or something like that. So they like, how come this person ain't reach out and call me? I know they see me doing this or something. Somebody knows that they're exposed, but you over here working on your four wines. 
And this is what it is. Somebody's confused, like, why are you still working? Why are you at peace? I said this yesterday. Somebody's been doing all of this stuff here and yeah, to create burdens for you. And you just close in cycles. And this is what somebody is scared about, that a cycle is completely closed. But it's not like I want to move towards this person to work on it work on something real and true with this person it's like i want to find a way how to deceive this person how i can confuse this person make the masses think that they had mental issues or something like that but no somebody's practical somebody's grounded somebody's consistent and somebody's working towards something somebody got to go with the knight of pentacles it's like okay well i'm moving slow but i'm still making effort or whatever the case may be and look somebody's gonna wind up in the queen of pentacles a homebody a mother a nurturer, somebody who's grounded, somebody who's stable and committed. All right. <laughs> Look, and this is driving somebody nuts. Page of Swords in reverse. Somebody shady. Anything else here, Spirit? I don't put nobody out there, but I call everything out. From here, I told myself um, a while ago that I'm calling everything out in regards to you guys. Yeah, massive regrets off and on this this is the game somebody plays off and on hot cold detached somebody wants to be chased or somebody wants to feel wanted or somebody wants to feel needed this ain't nobody mature hey, look they're being illuminated their behaviors illumination truth discovery awakening some of you guys have found out who you were in the midst of these people playing these games like this and I don't know, for some of y'all, it's like for some of y'all, it's like a community full of people that's about to go in and contest to this person. Somebody's going around paying people to do these things. I'm hearing this is why this person ain't got no money in their pocket right now. Somebody spent a lot of money here doing this. Yeah, because you said bye. You look running. Somebody's like Shh. Somebody ran from somebody because they shady. Somebody don't want to deal with that. And somebody can't deal with that. Somebody can't handle rejection. This is somebody who wants to force themselves in people's lives. And it's like they getting people to watch a show. And somebody like, what's wrong with you? We got ashamed and then we got spiritual. Chaos, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. See, when somebody's in seclusion, seclusion separated, separation, Somebody else reflects and somebody else doesn't. So because you're in separation or you're by yourself, hermit, somebody wants to cause you chaos. And I'm telling you, bad credit, bad debit, unemployed. Somebody's paying for this stuff here. Look, feeling like shit. And it's the police station. The police station. I'm telling you, somebody went to the court or the police station to turn something in. For some of y'all, somebody's trying to do this now, but you're not bothering this person. This person, I'm hearing these people are about to turn on this person. We got sweet talk in reverse. Somebody ain't paying this person no attention no more. We got feelings. And it's like they just want to orchestrate things or get others to do it. Under pressure. Somebody's stressed out here. I tell you, this ain't nobody who can sit alone with themselves and their thoughts. Because this is how they feel at the end of the day. They feel guilty. So it's like, oh, man, I feel guilty. But I can't, you know what I mean? I want somebody else to feel how I feel. I'm hearing they didn't apologize. They didn't do anything. This is like more so like... Yeah, look, somebody grow, grow, growth. I want to expand my consciousness. Somebody wants your forgiveness. I told you, you superseded this person mentally. This is why they want to cause challenges for you while you're at peace and success. You have to bring to your success. And see, what I'm doing right here, right now, calling this out, this is not troublemaking. This is setting myself free. It's like I know what you're doing. And when you do that, this is how you put these people under judgment. Let them laugh. They got low self-esteem to be doing stuff like this, all right? It's, it's very low. It's like, get your life, all right? Tell that little douchebag voice to pipe down. Silence your inner critic. Get yeah, somebody wants you judging yourself or something like that. Like, critiquing yourself. Somebody want, wants you to think that you crazy. We got YOLO, cart fucking diem, <laughs> whatever that means. You only live once. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else in your spirit? I ain't toxic. Is there anything else? Look, mental mind games. Because you mas you're a master at something here. Third time's a charm. Anything else? 
Anything yeah. else? I have to close this right on out. You rock my world in reverse. Karmic cycle finally over. I'm going to leave it there. This is what somebody can't accept, that a cycle is finally over. Somebody can't believe it. And the sad part about it is, on my end is, you know, only reason why I'm connected to certain people in my family is because I have children. So that's the way that they could reach me, get through me and to me is through my children. But I know I ain't the only one dealing with this, but I said, I'm gonna keep on calling it out. Cause I know how people is. Y'all ain't gonna play this game with me this time around. When you come to me, come to me correct. I ain't for the games. I told y'all this stuff over and over again. I'm not with the games, y'all. I'm a straightforward person. You gotta come to me. You wanna apologize about something? You wanna speak to me about something? Don't come come to me playing games because I'm gonna call you game out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna illuminate it every single time because in confusion is where I hate to be. I don't like to be in my mind here about people. If I'm gonna be, out, be in my mind, it's about me building something that's gonna be real stable, lucrative, and making a lot of money. Me trying to figure out a person and who they are, that's done. I could give a damn who you are. If you can't show me who you are, um, and I got to go out and guess to find out who you are, I, I don't want anything to do with you. And I would, um, I would give that advice for anybody who's watching this channel. If anybody has you trying to guess who they are to disturb your peace or to make your mind wonder, I wouldn't talk to that person. They're not worth your time because that's affecting your mental health. So I'm going to um, leave it there, you guys. Any of this message resonates today, like, share, and subscribe. Take care.